Welcome to the Wiley Fisherman. Today we're going to be talking about the Lee's Kingfishing Anchor. Um, I picked this up last week while I was in the Outer Banks of North Carolina on, on a family vacation and took the time to do a little bit of fishing. Uh, the reason I bought this was actually I needed something fairly heavy and substantial. Uh, I have a 15 foot surf rod that I like to cast way out in the uh, breakers for sharks or beyond. So I bought this thing because uh, it looked interesting. The price was right. It wasn't bad. It was uh, $3.99 for this size. This is a 6 ounce extra strength version. It comes in several different uh, varieties. There's a, there's a 6 and an 8 ounce weight, but there's also a standard uh, hold and an, and an extra hold. The difference between the two is rather than having four tines, uh, this one in particular has six because it's the extra hold version. Uh, it's pretty well made. I was actually impressed for $3 what you got. Uh, again, this is a six ounce version, but the the, the lines on it are pretty uh, pretty significant and, and beefy. The wire it's made out of is, is, is pretty strong, uh, which, which was impressive to me. Uh, it is just a tube filled with weight, as you can see here. It's not, uh, not rocket science, but it does take some setup to get the thing right. So what I'm going to do real quick is walk you through how to properly get one of these things ready and, and get it deployed. So the first thing, it comes with this plastic piece on the uh, over the tines you have to remove that uh, you know again not rocket science you've got six wires coming out of this they've got semi pointed hooks on them you can tell that they've been cut with something like tin snips um, so they're they are a little pointy they're not they're not awful as you can tell I'm not cutting myself it's not like a hook but you take each of these lines and bend them out And I'll go through this, and you'll you'll see I do uh, need to put some pretty significant force behind it to get these wires to bend. Um, you know, I, it is kind of a testament to the materials that these things are made out of. They're not cheap, uh, cheap little pieces of uh, you know piano wire. So you get it like this. Now what you got is an umbrella shape. You can kind of work with the leads to get them where you want them to be. Uh, again, they're they're pretty beefy, so you're going to have to push on them pretty good. Um, for this particular part, I don't use or didn't use the, uh, the pliers, but uh, what I will do now, because I want to put an extra bend in these to get a little bit of extra strength on the bottom, is I will use the pliers to bend these up. Now, this whole unit is designed to be used for a kingfish pin rig off of a pier. Um, I did find an alternate use for it. I didn't do much pier fishing while I was down in, in the Outer Banks this time around. Uh, what I did do is, is a good bit of surf fishing. Uh, unfortunately, all I caught was weeds. It was a, it was a pretty choppy week with some uh, nasty weeds in, in the surf. But this did allow me to get some pretty great casts out into the breakers, and it held like crazy. Um, from a pier, I think you'd even get better luck out of it. You'd attach a main line here for your pin pin rig, and then you you know clip on your 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 other line to your rod so you don't have to fight with the weight on it. Uh, had I actually hooked in anything like I planned, which would have been a shark or a skate at that range. Um, it would have been a tussle with the extra extra six ounces of weight on it, but you know, I, like I said, I had a 15 foot rod, so I was up to the fight. Anyway, that's the setup uh, as a whole. I really like the unit. The only downfall that I see is it, and and I ran into this unfortunately on on one of these. This is my second one that I bought. Is that when you do go to release it off the bottom and you're casting out of the surf because you're not pulling directly up, you're pulling at an angle, and these tines dig in it exerts a lot of force on your line. So I was using monofilament at the time rather than braid. Uh, I have cheap reel on that on that particular rod and, and it can't handle braid. Um, and I did get a snap off. The snap off wasn't due to the unit. 
it did its job. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It held fast. The problem was my knot, uh, and I could tell that when I when I pulled the line in that, that I had a break in the mono, and it was you know squiggly like you get when you when you get a bust off. But as far as the unit goes, can't say enough about it. I think it's great. Uh, only downfall that you have is they're hard to come by outside of uh, outside of the local tackle shops. Uh, they're, they seem to be centralized to eastern North Carolina. You can order them online from Texas, Tackle and Bait. Uh, the link for that is on my website, uh, www.wileyfisherman.com, uh, as well as a, as a written review is on there is for, the, uh, for the Lee's Kingfishing Anchor. Um, as a whole, great little, great little piece of tackle for, for $3.99. Can't beat it. It is more expensive than straight up lead, but you know, for what you get and, and the fact that I think as long as I didn't break it off, it lasts for, for quite some time. I think it's a good good bargain and I, I would definitely do it. So until the next time, uh, you know, happy fishing and let me know if you see anything that you'd like me to review or, or questions you have. And uh, please reach out to me on my website. It's www.wileyfisherman.com.